Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this pack video short, we're going to cover facilitation tips one, two, and three. PACT is an acronym. It stands for Performance Based, Accelerated, Customer and Stakeholder Driven, Training and Development of Any Blend. The 12 PACT facilitation rules and guidelines are presented on this chart. In this video, we're going to cover tips one, two, and three. Go slow to go fast. Doesn't seem quite right. Counterintuitive. But you don't want to go so fast that you lose and confuse everyone. And that's why we suggest at the beginning of every process step, especially when you're changing from one process to another, that you slow it down and then speed up later on when appropriate, when the group is with you, when they are fully on board. Go slow to go fast. Be declarative. Announce your intent as you end a process, as you transition a process, as you start a task effort. Help everybody to track with you. Let them know what you're doing. We're ending this step now and we're moving on to the next phase. Or it's time to do a review and preview. Or it's time to take a break. Let's be back in 15 minutes. Write stuff and post it. When I train facilitators in these processes, I often model the inappropriate behavior of asking the question and holding the pen in my hand up in the air. When the answers come in, I don't write it down. And then I ask the group, what does that suggest to you when I ask a question and get an answer and then don't do anything with it? I would suggest to you that that slows the group down, slows the process down, shuts the group off, and may shut the process down. My bias is to hear the first thing said and go to the flip chart or the whiteboard or whatever and write it down. Then I turn back to the group and do a face poll. I look into the eyes of everybody and ask declaratively, is this right? Do you agree with this? Now I also tell them at the beginning of the process that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask a question and the first person brave enough to volunteer an answer is going to be rewarded by me because I'm going to turn around and write it down exactly as I heard it. Then I will turn to the group and seek confirmation, seek consensus. And if there isn't consensus, then we will edit what I wrote down and captured or scratch it out and start all over again but I've got to prime the pump of our activities by taking the first verbal responses back and doing something with them. Not suggesting to everybody, well, that's not quite right and I don't think I'm going to write it down because how would I, the facilitator, know? I'm not a master performer or a subject matter expert in the topics that we're focused on in these analysis and design meetings. So that's my method. The PAC Facilitation Rules and Guidelines. Important for facilitating groups of master performers. Master performers typically have fairly big egos and it's difficult at times to manage them in a group process. I hope these are helpful to you. Beware of Yego. Garbage in, garbage out. Strive for Yego that stands for good stuff in, good stuff out. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.